do I have something for you? Story number four. The Watchdog movie is happening. Jesus Christ. All right? This comes from uh, Deadline. <laughs> no, no. It's In, just the tweet. Yeah, it's just the, the tweet. The tweet is the news. Yeah, where yeah, they, yeah, All of a sudden today, we just get this fucking tweet. Lights underscore camera underscore action dot exe. Everybody, if you're not... A PC gaming nerd, that's an executable. So, like, that's in the watchdogs all about hacking and stuff. So, that's what they're doing there. Hashtag watchdogs movie, double slash at new regency. Uh, Deadline in March reported that following her breakout role in the A24 horror hit Talk to Me, Sophie Wilde has found her follow up project as she's in talks to star in new regency's Watchdogs, an adaptation of the popular Ubisoft hit video game. The film set within the universe of Ubisoft's blockbuster video game franchise of the same name with over 50 million players. Uh, the film is being directed by acclaimed French genre director uh, Matthew Turry. Cool. Every game has a movie so or we're, show. We're looking at this. Yeah. What are you getting? Yeah, I, I, Tim, one of my favorite texts you of all time. Mm -hmm. I forget what it was. I was watching some shitty movie and I texted you and I was just like, how is it that you know a movie's going to be bad by how it looks? Like, why do some movies look great and some movies you turn on, you're like, oh, this is not going to be good already? Like, just, yeah. and, the, and you had an answer that I already forgot what it was. I don't remember. Cameras, probably, lighting. I think lighting is yeah, the answer. Yeah, lighting, lighting is the answer. So you look at this, we're just, we just have the slate, a hacker at his computer back there getting ready to fucking pull some. Sandra Bullock, the net shit, and order a pizza. Is this going to be a real movie? Like, is yes. it okay? It's not going to be just a, it's just going to be on Amazon Prime. It's going to be in a theater. And oh, like, this, uh, this is going to be a real movie. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, no, I I think so. Um, it's very hard to tell just based on. I know you can't even see the person here, here but yeah, person. no, no, I imagine this is going to be a a a big budget enough movie that actually gets uh in theaters for two weeks and then sent home to die because of people like you greg um but yeah i i feel like this is something that i think all of us could be like who's asking for this and we'll have to wait and see well, I the think first that comment there yeah on the, the, from the <laughs> the, well yeah and I, i'm not surprised by that because of the type of property watchdogs is yeah um and when you think adaptations of things you want kind of characters to be able to hold on to and stories that are memorable and all those things that i don't think watchdogs necessarily is known for watchdogs not, 2 not to say that watchdogs 2 didn't have a a cast that people but I'm gonna, did I'm, enjoy i'm gonna say like can we name eddie one of those characters mark though? Yeah, you don't need to be able to name characters you love. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I just did. Avatar is a perfect example. Um, but <laughs> the the thing with this though is that I feel like there's there's something that is uh, a easy hook of hacking movies. People like hacking movies, and it's been a while since we've had a good hacking movie. And Swordfish. I think that that we could again. You know what I mean? We had them all in the '80s, and then there was that early 2000s rush. I feel like the the children are clamoring, Greg, for a good hacking movie. They just don't know it yet. Will it Maybe. be Watchdogs? I don't necessarily think so, but I do think that there's that there is an opportunity there for this to hit a a different type of audience. I think it's a bit weird that they are um, seemingly giving up on Watchdogs as a franchise in video games while also working How on. How do this. you know? You're not inside. You don't know. What well, didn't they say that? I don't remember. I, I think they did. <laughs> I, I I think recently, like in the last year, um, they were talking about um, moving on from Watchdogs. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong somewhere there, but like, um, I I think that. That, that's just a, a bit weird because we see the numbers of how these adaptations work where when they're good and they come out, it boosts game sales dramatically. So um would seem like they'd want to kind of double down on that, even if it was just a remake or a, like, I don't, I don't even know, like some type of re-release of the games. I can't believe there was a third one. Yeah. Watch Dogs Legion is one of the most, no fucking way that game actually came out and was real games to me because it feel like, it just got announced and then released, and it was a big old game. It just released at, like, maybe the worst time ever for it. Yeah, wasn't it, like, PS5 launch, and it also, lo like, launched near Assassin's Creed um, Valhalla? Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, from Game Rant, a rumor Ubisoft may be quietly retiring the Watch Dogs series. So. This was two years ago, two yeah. and a half. So. Yeah, I have one here from Game Central, April 2024. Watch Dogs franchise is, quote, dead and buried, end quote, but for Far Cry isn't, says Ubisoft Insider. My favorite part is that then I go, uh, oh, I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. I was going to give them some journalistic shit there, but I see that they're translating uh, some French talk over here, so that makes more sense. Okay. This episode is brought to you by our very good friends over at NVIDIA GeForce. Kind of funny, and NVIDIA GeForce have been working together for almost four years now. 
and they were one of our first sponsors at the spare bedroom so when we reached out to them to be a part of getty's live on stage gia and i's wedding spectacular they couldn't say no they've harnessed the immense power of ai to make pc gaming unlike anything you or anyone else has experienced before nvidia dlss 3.5 is one of those advanced techs it multiplies game performance and it allows you to immerse yourself in the most advanced graphics possible, like full ray tracing and realistic lighting. New features on GeForce RTX's powerful 40 series cards, like AI-enabled DLSS frame generation and DLSS ray reconstruction, put you in the game like never before. And NVIDIA Reflex reduces the latency in your gaming PC and gives you a competitive edge by reducing the time from click to on-screen action. The future is bright. Take it from all of us here at Kind of Funny. It's the best time ever to game on PC, and it's only going to get better from here, especially with NVIDIA and the awesome promise of GeForce RTX. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. We all carry around different stressors, big and small. I'm currently planning a wedding, so I know all about that. But when we keep them bottled up, it can start to affect us negatively. Therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. You can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace, and it can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Some of my best friends use BetterHelp and love how helpful it can be for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself and it isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist at any time for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash kind of funny today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash kind of funny. So that's what they're saying over there. Writing on Twitter in French, regular Ubisoft source, Jonathan stated, quote, Watch Dogs is basically finished at this point. Uh, the flop of Legion destroyed the licenses projects, including a pretty original Battle Royale. So, number one, I'm going to go back to giving them the shit of, you can't put in your headline, quote, dead and buried, end quote, and then not have dead and buried be the quote in the yeah. fucking article that oh, I'm yeah, control that's that trying to find a jump to because uh, I'm live on a show. Not good. Uh, and then secondly, yeah, it is weird that they'd still be doing a movie for a thing they're not supporting with or anything. Now, of course, maybe they just remaster two and put yeah, that out totally. and do that thing or whatever. Yeah. Two was the best. What up? Fuck and I mean, that's the thing Pierce. too. It's like, you know, The Witcher didn't, I know The Witcher is a, a, a weird one to use as an example because of how licensing works and it, the show's technically based on the books or whatever, but they didn't need to put out a new game for that to boost the sales of The Witcher game. So, yeah. Uh, we have a super chat, super chat from uh, Corey Clark, uh, which just real quick, Greg. Right? <laughs> I know we're in that weird era of the dcu is about to begin i'll tell you what when you made a dceu reference during your wedding vows i almost shouted it out but i stopped myself yeah yeah i had to the audacity it. to use the fucking man of steel soundtrack and then shit on the dceu mm -hmm. five minutes later fuck you yeah that's all i got greg uh you got to use the good that they give you but then also mm -hmm. criticize the bad yeah which is everything else uh besides the bad of steel theme song um I, Are we going to go see uh, Justice League? Zack no, Snyder's Justice League in theaters? No, I think I'm okay. You sure? I think I'm okay. On the big screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I I don't like all the set leak stuff just because I just feel like it takes away the magic of... of the, we're just in a, a bad era of like the paparazzi. Just, it's too far. We're, we're, we're too far. Yeah, with everything. All, all movies. Give it it all just ruins it. It ruins the movies because everyone feels like, oh, I saw the movies and they see it and like, eh, it wasn't that good. Like, oh, there was no cameos even though we fucking... There was a million. You just were spoiled on them all. Doesn't matter. Um, but you must be feeling fucking good right now. Oh my god! Like, Are you kidding me? I've seen all the stuff. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell any of this is. But this seems like everything Greg Miller's been talking about wanting for ten years. And I like how James Gunn has been like, he's quoted the other day, yesterday, I think, of just like the leaked photos aren't going to spoil the movie. Don't worry or whatever. So it's like I feel like they're just doing such establishing stuff. But like that fucking shot of David Corn Sweat, we're like doing this, and he's stomping in the water, splashing up, and he's saving a puppy or a cat. I can't remember what it is, and catching whatever it is. It's like. Oh my God! It's like the amount of characters around him. I'm like, yeah. this is just wild. Did this you see the one yesterday? Again, like uh, this is one I don't think is a spoiler because like you'd have to be so you if you don't know you're w watching this. How would you know of like Christopher Reeve is his son is going to do a cameo as a reporter? I'm like, that's so fucking good. Yeah, they care. They they seem to be doing it right. But uh, Corey Clark writes in saying the new Watch Dogs movie starts filming. Apparently, y'all have any other game adaptations you're excited for? Did everyone watch Arcane season two? I didn't even know it was out. Is it out? 
I don't watch Arcane. I don't know. Oh, well, that is exciting if it is. Um, I am so excited for Twisted Metal Season 2. New information came out. Um, Madison from She-Hulk. Ah! She's cast. That's huge. That's gonna be a big, big get. Gonna be that's big. a big get. I, that is perfect. That's, that's what I want. Yeah. More of that. And uh, the dude from Barry, but I didn't watch Barry, but the bald guy in oh, Barry. No, Ho Hank from Superman. He's a bad guy, Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's Calypso, which is like the big No guy. shit, that's great. Twisted Metal, okay. perfect stuff. Very excited. Um, uh, just uh, reporting on air that uh, Arcane Season 2 is not out. Okay, okay. Comes out in November. Uh, it's the video game adaptations. Uh, Last of Us Part 2, of course. Excited to see what's going to happen with that one, right? Uh, whatever the next Mario movie is going to be. Um, there's something I'm forgetting. I'm but. still fascinated by the God of War Amazon project. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. if like I'm anticipating it, but I'm just like, I'm curious about it. Um, Nightlife says uh, it could help move the stock. Fallout surprised us. Yeah, there was no new Fallout project. Baron, hit my music! Here comes the money. I'm impressed. I didn't think it was going to be in the system. Here comes What's up, everybody? Welcome to your favorite reoccurring kind of funny games daily segment, Greg's Sound Financial Advice, where I tell you how to invest your money on the stock market. As you know, quite a long time ago, we reported on the Ubisoft shares of stock, and we said it was like low, but I was like, whatever. And then I asked Kevin if I could buy, mo if I could do a hundred dollars of an investment just as an experience, but it was, you know, because then it's not a conflict of interest if I tell you that. Kevin said to do it. Now, when did I do it? I'll tell you, it must have been a long time ago. Because when I dial it back a year to date, the stock's never been as high as what I paid for it. All right. I bought it at $5.33, thinking slam dunk. We'll be back to that in no time. Uh -huh. Today we're trading at $4.16. Okay. So okay. what I will reiterate is there's no better time to buy than right now. $4.16. Oh. You think when Assassin's Creed drops this year, you think when Star Wars Outlaws drops this year and gets some great pricing, it's not going to be perfect. And this isn't the time. It's going up, up, up. Up, up, up. And then eventually you're getting this movie. And is it going to be great? You know it's going to be great. Oh, God. Same thermos, same cap. That's another yeah. episode. Buy it right now, or guess what? Your kids probably aren't going to college.